what are the inputs and outputs of the system, and what are the elements of the text system in terms of information, hardware, cultural, and processes, and people. Goal of producing um, some better value for the company. As I said, I didn't put in everything, so there was an exercise to look at the context system and who are the stakeholders in the sector of self help systems, who are the winners, who are the losers, and, um, and uh, what are the Trying to identify what are the elements that are used in the in the system. So now they use different types of um hardware you know, and software and um And you could use this type of analysis for different cases as well. So I also pointed out that we had, um, you know, I told you to look at the ZBC.com's list price and identify what were some of the information technologies in terms of hardware, software, uh, services, networks, and data management. But uh, that was just the thing on the different technologies. You could say for different types of companies and states, uh, what are the technologies of how we're going to process this data to contribute to the output of the system. So just um, be aware that this model exists and to be able to apply it to the different states. Okay, so these are the, uh, this is about the context of who are the stakeholders, who wins, who loses, and uh, who are the, uh, who are the stakeholders. So we just um decided it's for a second two of the stakeholders in the sense of the customers to cancel how many decisions to ask the stakeholders. Company itself, yes. So they the um, and company money, yes. Yes, because they're part of this company. The competitors. So the stakeholders, you can say, are in different parts. They depend on trying to get into the business to buy. They might be um, either stakeholders in the market context, they might be stakeholders in the market context. They could be politically quality of person, depending on what the system is, government, um, yeah. But if you think about it, we can put these as much as it has to be in the future. Um, I tried to put these uh, one or two slides in the middle of the lecture. So sometimes there's different concepts that are put in different chapters in the two and so forth. The next lecture we talk about some of the music that we describe. And then um, I think I will tend to focus more, of course, these, these concepts are important, but I will tend to focus more on the behavior system as opposed to 
understand what the goals of the system and we want to find out if uh, this customer is the most loyal, we can be most profitable, and what customers are willing to buy, and so they feel that they're going to take the product and sell it. I mean, the goal of the CIM system is to be able to collect, acquire, retain, and use and customer data. And that's the goal of the CIM system. So this is the model. And then we have the last part from human page 51, that's the book, and it explains uh, the goals of technology system, retention, extension, and selection. And uh, this is a, a um, um, oil setting model. Uh, recency, frequency, and monetary value of customers model. And it's for comparing customers. And so the CIM system collects information about the customers and they identify these different traits about the customers. And when they put it into this model, they should be able to identify <coughs> which customers are most likely to buy with them based on their former behavior. So if they um, have spent a lot of money in the past to the a room of five, and they're more likely to spend more money again in the future. And then frequency is they book frequently, in order to purchase the button frequently. And then if they book frequently, they're more likely to purchase the button in the future to come. So the ideal customer is the one that takes stores, which is some of the fastest buyers that we need to do. Yeah. Um, so you can look at that analysis to try to get a good idea. You can also look at the table on page 21 in the book, or on page 35 in the book. So there you have it. Okay. Um, chapter 3 is about the social context of IS. And um, basically, at the beginning part, talks about um, the differences in different contexts. And some of the main uh, factors are political, economic, cultural, and legal factors. And it's not going to all these factors here, uh, but basically the political context say that there's different rules about how you enter markets and how you conduct yourself in markets in different countries. So business like people operating in the Western uh, countries might operate differently, but they will also operate differently than, say, for example, in China. So we need to identify the different political context. And then the economic differences, um, basically um, the customer base depends on the team. So it points out the configure C1, which is on this figure on page 73, and it points out that there's different um, depending on where you are. And we get subscribers to broadband services, and um, those that have broadband services as opposed to just internet subscribers have greater capacity and have um, more likelihood of purchasing things online. And there's all kinds of statistics tables about the people purchase online and more and more people purchasing these types of products and services online. Uh, so, the way this online shopping that they give an example in activity is the key on page 77, which is um, the VIAA site has statistics on what people are purchasing online. And then uh, the, the other context is the cultural context, and we talked about the text that's 
Before they used to take a look at it, the sun takes 22 minutes to uh, align them to clean all of the new organization. So, what is the reason that they're pulling it from all the cells? What is the highest, um, how does all of it align with the focus strategy? What are the points of the cells? Okay, and I think we're going to do 